Question 12 is about derivatives of exponential logarithmic and trigonometric functions. Here you have lots of trig functions, cosine, tan, uh, sine and everything. You might think whether this can be solved in calculator. Yes, absolutely. Just like how we have done in the previous video, we can solve all the derivatives of these problems in calculator. But here you need to follow some rules. The first thing is this default mode in your calculator will be degrees. You need to convert to radian. That's by shift mode and press option number four. Now it's in radian mode. So now that it's in radian, you can start solving any of these problems. I will come to over here cosecant or secant values in a minute. But let's just try the uh, this one over here. Tangent. Uh, let's do both the problems. First thing, you need to press shift d by dx and derive this. 4 sine 3x, just type it as it is, minus x. And what is the x value you're assuming? Let's assume the same thing, 1.5. We get here at x is equal to 1.5, it's negative 3.5295. Now what we need to do is look into all the options. Now here this is the answer. You will have this as the final answer in your options. Let's solve it up. This one will be directly typing it cos 3x, that is alpha x, close the bracket, minus 1. Now calculate it at 1.5 the answer must match and it is matching. So that's the answer. Now over here, let's do this one, next one. What's going to happen is you need to do shift this one dy by dx, 4x squared minus 3 tan 2x. Close the bracket. And what happens over here? x value, again, assume it to be 1.5 itself and note this answer. And please double check this, okay, before you, you know, finalize the answer, double check it. So we are at x is equal to 1.5, the value we got is 5.878. Now that is derived. Now look at all the answers which are derived. That f prime of x means derived answer. Now what I do is clear it off, type it as it is, alpha x. Now what about secant? Do we have the secant option here? No, but we know secant is 1 by cosine, right? It's reciprocal identity. 1 by cosine is secant. Secant 2x. Now, what about the square? I can't just square over here. It doesn't uh, see over here the square. It's wrong, you know, because the other thing gets squared up. So now I need to remove this. So how would I do it? I'll just write cosine 2x. So squaring is for the entire term. See, this square secant squared, right? I'll just write it out. Imagine secant is there, secant x, that is equal to 1 by cosine x. Now we have 2x over here, so we write 2x. Now it's squared. This means it is same as secant x, the whole squared. Okay, so I need to just put the brackets and square it up entirely. So now let me just use brackets here and over here ended up with brackets and square it and now calculate it at 1.5 the answer will match now if you have not done this properly if you have missed the square or if you have missed the two or if you have not written the reciprocal identity properly you won't get the answer please write this properly and then check at x is equal to 1.5 same whatever x you assume it will match now this one is straightforward let's look at this one over here left side you can see it's tan cubed. That's fine. First shift dy by dx. The question will be derived. Use the brackets tan 2x. There is no t, so we use x as the variable. The whole power 3. The first part is done. Minus. What is cosecant? Cosecant is 1 by sine. But since it's raised to the power, open the brackets first. 1 by sine. 3 times x. Close the bracket. And now close the main brackets. And power it up. It's to the power 4. And now what is the x value you're assuming? We always assume 1.5. So we will see what's the answer. Now we've got a syntax error. Now look over here. Whenever you get syntax error, understand that's not a math error. That means it's not undefined or anything. Syntax is I have missed some brackets or something. Let's check. It's good that this happened. Uh, let's go. See, it's telling somewhere over here there's a bracket issue. So here... 
See, I've not closed the bracket. Can you see that? Now it's all right, I believe. You get the answer 2.958. So this is the answer. So remember when it's a syntax error, check for the brackets. There are other type of syntax error as well. I will come to that in a later problem where natural logarithm comes in picture, ln. That is a different type you know, way to solve it. Now, after this, I will solve each of the problems. Now, we each of the solutions. Here is a big solution. It must match 2.95. It's always better to write it out. 2.9583. And what I will do is clear this off. Now, it's in radian mode. If it was not in radian mode, I will not get a matching answer. It will be wrong. So, whenever trigonometry is there, put it in radian mode. Now, 6 tan. Now it's squared, so I'll use the bracket right now, tan 2x, and then square it up. Okay, now I have to use another bracket and now square it up. That was the issue I had got in the last, uh, just a while ago. Closing the brackets was the issue. And then secant. So open the brackets. What is secant? It's 1 by cosine 2x. And now it's squared, so I need to close the bracket and square it up, plus... We have 12, again, open the bracket. It is 1 by sine now because it's cosecant. It's 3 times x, close the bracket and close it up. And now power it up to power 4. And lastly, multiply this with what? Cotangent, that is 1 by tangent 3x, close the bracket. Now, what do you want to calculate at? 1.5, is the answer matching? Yes. Only one correct answer will match. So this is the thing. As long as you know the substitutions, so for secant, it's 1 by cosine. Cosecant is 1 by sine. It's all easy and direct, and this is how we do it. And this is also pretty straightforward. You can try all the others by yourselves, guys. Now, it doesn't matter. Don't, don't think, okay, it's product rule or anything. No calculator method will work. See, these are very complicated, which we have solved. These are pretty simple ones. You need to have the answer, otherwise you cannot solve it. Over here now, we have cosecant at the bottom. So what you need to do is for this particular one, let's solve it. You need to start with dy by dx. Okay, we got this. Now what you need to do is split them out. Don't write it together. Don't use the fraction symbol. x squared multiplied by 1 by cosecant power 4 2x. This is also same as this, right? That is what I'll be doing. I'll write x squared first, multiply it with what? Now, 1 by cosecant is technically sine, right? So I'll directly write, write sine. Sine what? I'll use the bracket. It's the power 4, right? Open the bracket. Sine 2x. Close the bracket. This is for the 2x. I've closed. Close one more bracket and raise to the power 4. And x value is 1.5 now that is not the x value over here press next and now press 1.5 you get the answer negative 0.04 so i'll just write it over here negative 0.04889 now what you need to do is put this particular final answer in the calculator and solve it at x is equal to 1.5 itself because i've assumed over here x as 1.5 here do the fraction symbol 2x plus 8x squared. Now, what about cotangent? Multiply it and use the fraction over here. Cotangent is 1 by tangent 2x. That's it. Now, go down over here. What is cosecant? Now, here, don't uh, change it like up and down and all. Just write 1 divided by sine 2x. Now, open the brackets and close the brackets over here. The brackets are very important, otherwise it will be an error. I mean, you can do it without brackets, but many tend to get errors without brackets if you do a simple error, you know. So that's the answer. Is it matching? Yes, it's absolutely matching. It should match. The correct answer will match the question, uh, this answer. Because whatever you get over here is derived at that particular x value. And now this is already the answer derived. So at, at that x value, it must be same. Only one answer can be same because if there are two answers, that means there are two solutions. So in your MCQ, only one correct answer will be there. So make sure you choose the correct one. And these are also, again, same problems. Over here, it's just square root. Cosine phi t is fine. Over here, you should write again. Secant is what? 1 by cosine itself. So 
Okay, let's solve this up because it's coming zero over here. Now, why is this? Okay, before solving this up, guys, let's just understand what is happening here. They both are inverse of each other, right? Square root, cosine phi t, secant phi t. What is that? Cosine phi t multiplied by 1 by cosine phi t, isn't it? This cancels. What is the square root of 1? It's 1. Now, what is the derivative of 1? It's 0. So now if you do this, derivative, you shift dy by dx, the calculator method, square root cosine phi t, close the bracket, multiplied with 1 by cosine phi t. And now here at x is equal to any point, what will happen? It will be 0 because it's a constant value. So that's the answer. Now we are it is zero, so it's a constant. So whenever you get such answers, zero, just check over here. Okay, you will understand it's constant. The answer is directly zero. And over here, the answer is easily obtained, basically. Now here, you need to check it by the calculator method. Same way over here, all these problems. See, just consider this to be x squared into secant squared, 3x. Then you can solve it up. We have done similar problems. And now over here, sine, one by sine, you don't go to uh, change anything, just write it as 1 by sine itself. You know 1 by sine is cosecant, but cosecant is not there in the calculator. So we have to use it as sine. Always take sine and cosine, uh, get secant and cosecant as uh, cosine and sine. These are simple ones because they're directly available in the calculator. Over here again, now this is constant y. Now 4 and 4 can be removed common out. What is remaining? sine square 3x plus cos square 3x. What is this? That's equal to 1, Pythagorean identity. So 4 times 1 is 4. What is the derivative of a constant 4? It's 0. That's the reason. Please do try them by yourselves. These are all straightforward problems. Just take time. Be careful when you're substituting in the calculator. Double check the values and then solve it up. Similarly, please do solve all the problems and check with the answers. And over here, again, the same thing, derivative of these, just by uh, rules, see over here, sine squared. Now, this is chain rule. If you're thinking how this happened, what is the chain rule over here? Uh, if it was x squared, it is 2x, right? But instead of x, we have sine, so it'll be 2 sine x. Now, derive what was sine x. This is done. What is the sine x derivative? It's cosine x. So that's the answer. Now, here what happens is it's like basically the whole square, right? Oh, no. Look here. This square is only for x. So, it is basically like sine x squared only. So, what is the derivative of sine x? Cos x. But since we have x squared, we write like this, multiplied by 2x. So, that is the answer. And over here, it is sine 2x. So, it is just cos 2x multiplied by what is the derivative of 2x? It's 2. So, that will be the answer. But in calculator, anyways, you can check the answer, any answer. And even over here, you can look at the values over here done. And that's the end of this problems. So please make sure you understand the calculator method thoroughly. Solve other problems. Check the answers. Write the values once you derive the question. And then check for the options. And whichever matches the question will be the answer.